Hello, Mr. Zonker here, and this video is on writing equations for exponentials, exponential functions, that is. Before we get to it, I wanted to talk real quickly about some potentially new vocabulary. First off, appreciation and depreciation. Appreciation refers to the increase in value of something. Depreciation, on the other hand, refers to the decrease in value of something. For example, if you bought a car, as it get, gets older, as you drive more miles on it, uh, it depreciates, the value goes down. If you collect something, maybe you buy a rare collectible golden yo-yo that everybody wants, it might go up in value over time. That means it's appreciating. Uh, parameters and variables. Parameters are basically letters in general equations that are replaced with specific values, like a and B for exponentials, or the slope and y-intercept, M and B for linear equations. Variables, these are values that can change. For our exponential and linear examples, this would be the x and y points. There's lots of x, y values that can go on an exponential function or a line. Okay, time for the good stuff. Write an exponential equation that goes through two points. In this case, one of our points is our y-intercept. We have the point 0, 4 and for 2,500. So we need an exponential equation that will go through those two points. So first off, I notice that this point 0, 4 is our y-intercept. That means in our equation, y equals ab to the x, we can replace the a with the 4. That's like our y-intercept, kind of like what we've been, been doing in class. Uh, but we also have this second point. And if we take that point for 2,500, we can take the x value of 4, substitute that in for x, and the y value of 2,500, substitute that for y, and that gives us an equation that we can solve with one missing parameter, or in this case, we could say it's our variable b. And if we divide by 4 both sides, we'll get 625 equals b to the fourth power, and finally, if we take the fourth root of both sides, taking the fourth root of 625, uh, and make sure you know how to do that in your calculator, kind of like we practiced in class. Finally, when we know the value of A, we know the value of B, we can get our final answer, which is going to be Y equals four times five to the X power. That's our equation. It goes through our Y intercept at four, and uh, it's going to pass through that other point as we substitute that in and solve for b. Uh, so there we are, y equals four times five to the x power. Let's take this up a notch. Write an exponential equation that goes through two points without knowing the y-intercept. For example, we have the points two, 11.025, and six, 13.401. And here's what we're gonna do uh, to solve for that. We're gonna set up an exponential equation for each point, creating a system of equations. Then we'll solve the system by isolating A and substituting in or using the equal values method, however you wanna call it. Uh, and then one thing we are gonna to need to use is our exponent rules of division. Some problems might have negative exponents. That's okay, we'll be able to work with those and eventually get our exponential equation. So taking this general equation, we'll substitute in our x value and our y value to form one equation. And then with our other point, we'll substitute again our x value in, six, and our y value, 13.401, to get two separate equations. Now if we wanna solve for a, we can divide both sides by the b variable. So we'll divide both sides by b squared. That cancels out, and we have this over b squared. Divide by b to the sixth. That becomes 13.401 over b to the sixth. And finally, since we have a isolated, we can take both of these equations and we can kind of merge them together and we will set up this equation right here. We've got 11.025b squared equals, instead of a, 13.401, over b to the sixth. So, 
Now, I'm looking at this equation, and I say it looks like a proportion, so we could cross multiply to solve. Uh, we also just need to really eventually get b by itself. Um, so I'm actually going to start by multiplying by b to the sixth, both sides, to get the variable only on one side. Doing that, we are going to end up with b to the 11.025b to the sixth, because I multiplied by that, canceled it here, it went to the left, uh, divided by b squared equals 13.401. This is where we need to keep our exponent rules in mind. Here we have b to the sixth over b squared. Two of those six are going to cancel out, or we could subtract, and we will get 11.025b to the fourth equals 13.401, and that's simplifying our exponents. From there, we can divide 11.025 from both sides. That's going to give us b to the fourth power equals 1.2155, and we need to take the fourth root uh, of that side as well, and we will end up with b equals 1.05. That's taking the fourth root of both sides. Okay, now that we know that b equals 1.05, think back to how we solved systems of linear equations. What we need to do here is go find one of our other equations, and I think I'll just maybe take this one right here, because it's kind of accessible, and we are going to now try to take that b value that we found, plug that back in into this equation, 14, uh, sorry, 13.401 divided by b to the 6 equals a. And we can just take this b value that we found and substitute that right in for that b to the 6th in the denominator. Doing that, uh, we will end up getting 13.401 divided by 1.05, b to, that's our b to the 6, substituting that in equals a, and doing some of our calculator work, we can do 13.401 divided by 1.05 to the 6th power, uh, and finally get an a value of 10. Now that we know our a value and we know our b value, our last thing we need to do is simply substitute those values into our general equation and we'll have y equals 10, our starting point y-intercept, times our multiplier, b 1.05 to the x power. All right, everyone, I hope this video was helpful.